Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be doing a little Morphe haul for you guys. I finally sucked it up and got some stuff from Morphe. I'm really excited to show you guys. I've already started using some of the stuff because I got it like a week or two ago and I was like, I couldn't wait, I really wanted to test it out. Before I get started, if you're new to my channel, welcome, and please subscribe, that will be much appreciated. Also, I know lately I've been doing a lot of beauty videos, but don't worry girl, don't fret, don't stress, because I got so many haul videos coming up for you guys. My next video is gonna be a huge summer haul. I've just been collecting all of my summer goodies to show you guys. So look out for that. Turn on your post notifications so that you guys uh, get notified when that video comes up and all of my videos to come. So if you guys are interested in seeing this video, then keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing I got was the Morphe Flawless Beauty Sponge. I've been hearing so many things about this little sponge that it is comparable to the Beauty Blender. So I thought, why not go ahead and give it a try? Plus, you can never have too many beauty sponges, beauty blenders lying around. Cause sometimes, I don't know about you guys, I get so lazy to wash my beauty blenders and sometimes I forget to wash my beauty blenders the night before when I know I'm gonna be wearing makeup the next day. So it's good to have some blenders just lying around. And yeah, I've been itching to use this, but I've been saving it in this cute little packaging just to show you guys um, what it looks like without being used or anything. Um, I'm gonna open it and feel it and see how it feels. It's soft, like you can tell it's a little firm, but it's, it's really not as soft as the Beauty Blender. Like, I thought this would be softer, but it's not as soft, and it kind of reminds me, I used to have a Forever 21 uh, beauty sponge, and it's the, the same kind of shape. It's not as hard, but it reminds me of that. So, I mean, you get what you pay for. This was, what, like six or seven dollars? So the next item I got was this palette right here. This is the 35-0 palette. For the longest time, I thought it was called the 350 palette. But it's called the 35-0 palette. It's called the um, Natural Glow Eyeshadow Palette. This is like one of their most popular, most neutral palettes. And this, so this is what it looks like on the outside. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Girl, do you see this? You have your warm tones over here, and then you have your cooler tones over here, and then you have some kind of like uh, brow bone colors, a little bit more vibrant or like lighter colors up here. This does come with matte and shimmers, um, so that's a, a good thing to keep in mind. It is really, really pigmented. Um, I wear, I'm wearing it on my lids right now. I'm wearing actually this color. I'm actually wearing a matte eyeshadow in saddle. So I'm wearing those two, but the other day I was wearing, I think it was this one and this one, like I mix and match them. Like I love this palette. palette. It does have a lot of fallout, I'm not gonna lie. There's a lot of fallout in this palette, but it is very pigmented, it's very rich in color. And yeah, I, I love it. I can't wait to get a lot more use out of it. As you can see, I already dipped into some of the colors over here. Yeah, it's a great starter palette. It gives you all of the shades that you need. Um, and I'm a neutrals girl, you guys know this. So this palette like suits me perfectly. And this palette was $24.99. So the next items I got were some brushes cause I needed some blending brushes. I didn't have any blending brushes. I had two brushes and then if I wanted to dip into another color, I couldn't dip into the color cause then it, well, it was just a lot that was happening. So I needed to get some more brushes and I thought why not try Morphe. Morphe's, you know, inexpensive. It's affordable and I've heard great amazing things about the brushes. So the first brush that I got was the Morphe M555. This is a round contour buffing brush and this is actually what I use to actually contour my face and it really like blends everything out like it really gives it that like flawless more natural looking kind of contour I was using my um, Mac I think it's my Mac 180 brush which is like the smaller dual fibered brush and it didn't blend out as nicely and seamless as this does it kind of left the 180 brush left or left my contour like almost patchy 
in some areas, like darker in certain areas and more buffed out in others. It was really weird, but it served the purpose for the time and I'm like, I need a new contour buffing brush. So I love this because it is very dense and it really fits into my contour and blends everything out. I use this contour here. I use to blend up my forehead. Absolutely love this brush. Um, I can't remember how much these brushes were, but I'll definitely leave them in the description below so you guys can go and check them out. So the next brush I got was the Morphe M574 brush. And this one is a pencil crease brush. Now I thought it was a like an actual pencil brush to really get underneath here. And you can use it for that, but usually pencil brushes are a lot like smaller. They're not as thick as this one is. So this is actually meant to go into your crease and give you more of a, like a defined, more in-depth crease. So it fits right in here and it goes, sweeps across here. But I do use it to do under my waterline. So I do like it, I wish it was smaller, but hey, what can you do? It is soft, it's not painful when you're getting underneath here. So really love this brush. Okay, so the next brush I got was the E23 uh, Deluxe Blending Brush. And what I really love about this brush is how dense, but how wide it is. So it get it covers a lot of surface area in a short amount of time. And for me, like in the mornings when I have work and stuff, I don't have time to be like going in with like one brush and then going with another brush. I need something that's easy, that's gonna blend everything out easily, seamless, one sweep, you're out the door. And I love this brush for this reason because it gets right into my crease and I bring it all the way out here and it blends it out beautifully, covers a large amount of surface area. And yeah, you're done your eyeshadow in like two minutes rather than taking you like three or four minutes to get your eyeshadow going. I really, really, really love this brush and I recommend this as a good like staple brush. So the next brush I got was the Morphe M433 Pro Firm Blending Fluff is what it's called. And it's very similar, I actually brought it, very similar to my MAC 217 brush which is like an amazing blending brush. So as you can see, it is like very, very similar in shape, in width, in everything to the MAC brush. This is the MAC, this is the Morphe. It's like identical. And this is amazing to really like really buff and blend out your eyeshadow. And yeah, there's nothing really more to say to it, but it's a really great blending brush and it really gets into certain areas that you need to blend. Like when I put my lid color, Sometimes it doesn't blend in with my transition color, so I go in with this and I kind of just blend it all out and it kind of just blends it all into one and just gives it like a seamless look. Okay, so the next brush I have is the Morphe M441 brush and that is the Pro Firm Blending Crease. So this actually is a crease brush, so it goes in directly into your crease so it goes into this area here that's why it is shaped in that way um, but you can use it for literally anything like you could use it to bring it into your crease and if you're trying to like feather out and blend things out further into your brow bone you can use that as well to do it um, I feel like brushes are very versatile it's just a matter of how you use it and how much pressure you apply so this is a great brush to really, like if you wanna go in depth in your crease, it's a great brush to get into there. And yeah, I really love it. And the last brush I got was the Morphe M510 brush. So this is the Pro Round Blender. And from what I read about this brush is that it's meant to like kind of like blend everything together as one. That's why it's so large and in charge. So it's kind of just there to really like blend everything in if you're trying to really blend things in together get, it covers a lot of surface area however I've seen a lot of youtubers use this brush or beauty gurus use this brush to apply their highlight I don't know if I'll do that it's kind of similar to the um, to Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, her highlighting brush so I could see how someone would use this to con to highlight but I wouldn't use it because I don't like that really dark, intense highlight. I like it more natural and blended out. Um, so I haven't really used this brush yet, so I'm trying to figure out how to use this brush. Can't wait to try this brush. 
All right guys, so that's it for this little mini Morphe haul. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Also check out all my social media in the description below. Also don't forget to turn on my post notifications so you guys stay tuned to all my videos to come. And yeah, I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye guys.